girls, Miss Sally here. I'm, I really miss all of you and I hope you and your families are, are doing well. And uh, today I'm not gonna do homework with you. I'm going to be reading you one of my favorite stories, uh, children's books about Skippy John Jones, who is a Siamese cat. And I have my Siamese cat here, Bentley, to help with the reading. So here we go. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Bridges, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mrs. Doohickey's bird bath. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat. Not a bird, not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. Skippy doesn't look very happy here, does he? But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed and once or six times I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, he exclaimed. What was that? Page B. So up he went again and again it appeared. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, my ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I'm a chihuahua. Oh my goodness. See, they both have big ears and kind of small pointy heads. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a way, way soft voice. My name is Skippito Fr Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done. Yes, indeed -o. Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones, those are his sisters, were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Juju B. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterious old band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, caramba, who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chiquima, Chiqui, Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Scapito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones smoke, spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Paquito Tito. I go incognito, said Scapito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pintolito. Oh, this is Jupiter. Jupiter is another, he's an oriental short hair, and he's a very old guy. He's almost 15 years old. Okay. I go incognito, said Scapito. Do you like rice and beans, said Pintolito. See, si, I love rice and beans, said Scapito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalito. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. I wonder what the password would be. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah! Chupichu. Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Scapito. Then it was true, decreed Don Diego. Yip, yippee, yippito. It's the end of Alfredo Buzito. Scapito is here. We have nothing to fear. 
adios to the bad bumblebeeto. Then all of the chimichangas went crazy loco. First they had a fiesta, then they took a siesta. But after waking up, the chimichangas got down to serious business. Using his paws, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great bumblebeeto for Scapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangas, so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Bozito, whispered the crowd, El Blimpo Bumblebeeto Bandito. See, said Poquito Tito, the bandito steals our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Scapito, outraged. See, Poquito continued, red beans, black beans, Boston baked in blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly, too. And now he comes for us, Paquito added. Por qué? asked Scapito, because we are full of the beans, too. Boys. Then Don Diego stood tall and in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? said Scapito. The Jew just wants his beads back. beans back, said Poquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Scapito. Then all the chimichangos turned towards, towards Scapito, the great sword fighter. But poor Scapito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangas scattered in all directions. Vamos, Scapito, or it is you, the bandito will eat they cried. Scapito turned, stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello and his teeth chattered like the castanets. Then in a wee, wee small voice, he said, my name is Scapito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfredo Buzito flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy free holies, cried Scapito as he thrust his sword in the air. There he is going after the bumblebee. went the bandito, landing on Scapito's sword. And quicker than one could say chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bozito, the bumblebeeto bandito. Oh, look, here are all the different kinds of beans coming out. Then all of the doggies burst into song. Yip, yippee, yippito. Our hero is El Scapito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans and now we can make our burritos. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Banguito, Crashito, Papito, Skippito! Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then out flew Candy, Beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Hola, muchachitas, he said in a way, way small voice. Mama Jubebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pug, she scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say goodnight, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Buenas noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. I hope you enjoyed that story and enjoyed seeing my cats. I will see you next time. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.